the board has assured me that um, probably by January they'll start processing so that they can open the applications. And, and maybe by that date of April, the students will, will be admitted to start their training. That's why we are putting all effort and that's why we are here today. Phase two will be a seven star hotel, which will act as a lab to this training. But the, the phase two, first we want to complete phase one because that will be a value addition to phase one, a seven star. And we, the board is working on various models of how to construct uh, the seven star because of availability of resources. We, we need to look at the various possibilities, maybe through partnerships and other models. Yeah, There's a whole 17, 19 acres next door for that facility. And you can imagine what kind of a support it will be um, as a supporting lab or training center for this. And double lab is an actual hotel for accommodation. It's clear in my mind the magnitude of this facility that is intended to be a center of excellence for the hospitality sector and specializing in the blue economy, cruise tourism, and as you can all see, a lot of work has been done. So far, the project is 80, about 83% completion. We have had a meeting with the board. We have looked at the operationalization plan and the schedule, and we do hope that by the end of the first quarter of next year, uh, we will be able to operationalize and open this school. When it is fully operationalized, it will train up to 3,000 students per cohort. Uh, we want it to, to have all the specialization, and we look forward to fulfilling the market in the region and even internationally uh, for the people we need in the hospitality sector. So I'm glad that you would be able to join us. You have been able to join us today, and I look forward to the completion of this project. I must commend the trust fund trustees who have worked, especially in the last couple of months, they have worked tirelessly to progress uh, the project. I've challenged them to put even more effort to double their efforts and planning so that we can deliver this project to Kenyans. This project has the training halls, it has a modern kitchen, it has accommodation, the hostels for students, it has demo centers, it has staff quarters for the teachers and the trainers. And when it is fully complete, we will be admitting 3,000 students at a go per cohort. And so you can imagine uh, the amount of training that we will have to place Kenya as the best in terms of uh, training, hospitality training in the region. still move you around, maybe it might require you to uh, put on the right gear. Yes. And um, then you have the administration that is going to have the administration in a different place for itself. Then uh, you have constitution from one and two. Each of those blocks can be able to accommodate them or your that is supposed to be able to be a training facility for the students who are going to measure in cruises so that you can now be able to access the five stop there. You have got the changing room, you have got the workshops and then you have got the roundway facility. The roundway facility also is a changing facility because of activities that we've been trained here to do. Then on this other side, we have the then we have got the When it was getting down so that now we can be able to have a contract that can be able to post from nine, from five to nine, then we have other organizations that were done so that we can be able to scale down the rest of the project. Now, where we Thank you.
I think they are traditionally during the time of the slave trade. Yes. Like either they were being held here or people used to.